So in the future, we will likely have uh, training sessions, and we won't have to do it at each meeting, at the beginning of the meeting. Uh, but as it sits right now, we're just going to do a quick rundown so that for this meeting in particular, everyone knows uh, what the different terms mean and how it functions. So uh, we are going to be using consensus-based decision-making, um, as they are doing in New York City and all over the world at Occupy Movements. Um, this mode of uh, decision-making means that everyone in the group has to agree on the proposal that's at hand in order for that proposal to move forward. Uh, so every single person needs to agree. If one person uh, strongly disagrees and feels that the proposal at hand um, goes against the principles of the group and against the goals that the group is trying to accomplish, uh, that they can block that proposal and say, no, I'm not going to let this through. And if one person in this group blocks a proposal, it does not go through and we have to take it back and revise it and make sure that it works for everyone. Uh, there's another way that you can kind of say, I disagree with this proposal without necessarily blocking that proposal. You can say, I stand aside. Um, I don't really agree with this, but it's not like it's going to totally ruin the whole movement. You guys can go ahead and do this. I would just probably do it a different way. Not my favorite decision, but go ahead anyway. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to have discussions on a certain topic. There's going to be a proposal that's made. Anyone can technically make a proposal. We'll go over how that's going to work today in just a few minutes. Um, but someone makes a proposal, and then we what we call test for consensus. So um, someone will say, okay, um, are there any are there any clarifying questions? If you don't really understand the proposal, so you can't really make you know make your decision unless you really understand it. So we'll take some clarifying questions. There'll be room for amendments. If you say, yeah, I like that proposal, but I just want to make sure that this is added in there, we'll take some amendments to the proposal. Once we have that final proposal and it's time to test for consensus, um, you can either agree with it, which is what we typically um, uh, say by wiggling our fingers, I guess. Um, that's how you can identify that you agree with the, the proposal. Um, or we'll say, is there any stand aside? And if you stand aside, you can say, you know what, I stand aside, here's my reason, but go ahead and, and go for it anyway. And then we'll say, are there any blocks? And if there are any blocks, then that person can identify what their block is, why they're blocking it. And again, then we would have to completely revise the proposal. Um, are there any questions about how consensus works right now? Awesome. So like I said, in New York, they require everyone to go through a consensus training before they even participate in a GA. Um, so in the future, hopefully, we'll have that down and everyone will be on the same page and we can move forward through our decision making really efficiently and effectively. Uh, but I'm glad that today that's an understanding of everyone and you'll, you'll hear that being referenced throughout this, this GA. So thanks for being here and thanks for being patient as we describe all this boring stuff. <laughs>